Iron Man 3 movie review. Now, we're going to go into this and I'm going to try to do it as spoiler free as possible. But it doesn't really matter because of the simple fact is you are going to want to see this movie regardless of what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> this is one of those movies. Now, going into this, if you look at the trailers, you're going to go, man, this is an emotionally depth movie. No, it isn't. <laughs> this is like a goofy... I'm trying to figure out how did they even sucker everyone to believe that this movie was so emotionally in-depth. This movie has some of the best comedy. And out of all the Iron Mans, I'd say this is probably one of the funniest. Like Iron Man movies. And of course they're going to have their, mo their moments where it's okay, it's serious, and we gotta buckle down. But as this movie starts, we start to find out who Kinsley is, the scientist. They, he knew Iron Man from back in the day, before he was Iron Man. And he was working on this uh, biochemical thing that enhances, uh, like regenerate parts of the human body and all this stuff, so him and his other lady was working on it and him and Pepper like Pepper used to be working for him back in the day and you know he's kind of like trying to recruit Pepper back into the, to the fold and that's where they start with them then it kind of like shifts to where Iron Man is, is talking to um, Don Cheeto and he's basically just telling him like what's been going on and and basically Tony Stark is not you know a lot of stuff in the trailer too the lines that they don't appear in the movie but you know he's telling him that he basically got OCD <laughs> he can't stop making Iron Man suits I mean he was at what max 7 or whatever in the, in the Avengers now he's at 42 He's got 42 suits. Okay, we all know the new one he got where he can command all the pieces to come to his body and all of this stuff. But the man got 42 suits, which all will be on display in this movie. So, you know, you see that new trailer they got with all the them line up, and you might think, like, man, where he get 42 people from? But I'm going to let you be surprised by that. Because I thought, like, okay, here we go, a overkill scene with the same thing with Iron Man 2, him fighting these bots, and he's got all these suits, it's going to be another one of these scenes, but it's not. It actually works out pretty cool what Tony is doing in this whole sequence with all the suits. So, like I said, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler free for you as possible. You know, you got the Mandarin, you got Kinsley working together, or are they working together? Could be a secret there. Uh, but I won't go into that. And basically, I don't like the character Happy. I never liked that. John Favreau should have never written himself into the movie. That should have never, ever happened. He, The moment he comes on the screen, he's just total annoyance is too much of him to see him laid up in a coma was probably the highlight of my day <laughs> to see to see him laid up burning up <laughs> was just one of the best moments ever so I say, uh, man, Iron Man is three. Is is it better than Avengers? A lot of people are like, is it better than Avengers? I would say, on certain points, it could have been. It was on its way to being when this one scene, because I don't like Pepper in that movie at all either, and she wasn't in the movie that much. 
And that's what I was happy about. Because I went in here thinking I was going to see a lot more Pepper. She saves Tony in the beginning. She saves him at the end. I'm like, okay. And then if the movie had ended with this one moment with Pepper, I said, yes. This could be one of the best superhero movies ever. Just show the credit. Don't add another scene. Just show the credits. But they don't. And he adds some other stuff. And then when it ends, you like, huh? It's mixed reviews on the ending. I'll give you that right now. You don't know what's going to happen next. Is there going to be an Avengers 2 with Iron Man? You don't know. But the ending makes you ask a lot of questions. Maybe that's the way they wanted to do it, but hey, overall, the action, the storyline, the way Shane Black does this makes you feel like you're not in a dull movie. You're enjoying the little, the comedy's actually a lot better than it was in the, like, the Iron, the Avengers movie, and in the Avengers movie, it felt like everybody was trying to be the same person. They weren't really being themselves. Everybody had some one-liners and trying to be so funny and trying to outwit the other person with some comedy and comedic humor. And it just was unnecessary. Let Tony Stark be the, the court, the guy he's supposed to be. Let uh, Captain America be the guy he's supposed to be. You know, we don't need everybody jumping over each other. But... Overall, the movie's exciting. It's a lot of energy. By far, it's the best Iron Man movie. It should break every record <laughs> that's you know that's out there to be broken. But this ending was like, eh, you know, it's a lot of questions to be asked. You know, something happens with Iron Man while something is happening with Pepper. I won't say what's happening with Iron Man, and that's the way they ended, you know. When I think something happened, and I want to know what everybody, once you see the movie, what you think about that ending. Not that that little waste of time clip they show after the credits. I don't even want to go into that, but I want to know what you think about the actual, the actual ending of the movie before they start showing the credits and overall what do you think about this Iron Man you probably got what two days before it's uh, worldwide so you let me know what you think Iron Man 3 is it worth it absolutely yes I would give it three and a half stars out of four all because I felt they didn't do what I really wanted them to do. They did a lot of things right, but one thing I would have just loved is they teased me with it in this movie with Pepper. And I can't even talk about it. Oh, God, it sucks. But. Oh, God. Alright, that's it. I'm going to talk about it. If, cut the video off right now if you don't want to hear about it. They had Pepper dies in here, okay? Pepper dies. They should have left her dead. Why would you bring her back with this regeneration thing? I knew that was coming. Knew it. And I just didn't want it to happen. It should have just ended the way it was it was going. And it ended with Pepper's death. I just said, wow. This is serious. This would it would have been perfect. It would have been the perfect ending to a superhero movie. Or the, whatever they want to call this genre. Action superhero thing. It would have been perfect. The tension would have been excellent. But they didn't. They took an easier way out and made another um, controversial or crazy like ending at the end that I don't know what's going to happen with Avengers 2 now. Uh oh, gotta go.